Good morning, my dear students in General Chemistry 1. Welcome to this virtual class. We are now on week, nasa week 11 tayo, about electronic structure of an atom. So for our learning objectives, okay. So at the end of this presentation, the students will be able to describe the quantum mechanical model of an atom, describe energy levels, relate energy levels to orbitals, explain the significance of electrons in the outermost energy level of an atom. Okay, so in 1924, Louis de Broglie introduced the idea that particles such as electrons could be described not only as particles but also a wave. Particles also wave. And he proposed that all particles could be treated as matter waves with wavelength lambda given in the equation. Lambda is equal to h over mb. In 1926, Austrian physicist Ernst Rudinger used the wave particle duality of an electron to develop and solve complex mathematical equation that accurately describe the behavior of the electron in hydrogen atom. The quantum mechanical model of the atom comes from the solution of Schrodinger equation. Quantization of electron energies is a requirement in order to solve the equation. And this is unlike the Bohr model in which quantization was simply assumed with no mathematical basis. So kay Schrodinger, meron siyang equation to support that. So he proposed the quantum mechanical model of an atom which treats as matter waves. While in Bohr's model, an orbit was a circular path that an electron followed around the nucleus. Schrodinger wave equation replaced the Bohr's idea about electron location with an uncertainty factor. And the Heisenberg uncertainty principle states that we cannot know both the energy and position of an electron. Therefore, as we learn more about the electron's position, we know less about its energy or vice versa. Okay, you have this atomic orbital defined as the region within an atom that encloses where the electron is likely to be 90% of the time. Atomic orbital again is defined as the region within an atom that encloses where the electron is likely to be with 90 degrees, 90% of all of the time. Okay, so what is the basis of the quantum mechanical model of an atom? Okay, so the basis, the quantum mechanical model of an atom is based upon the dual nature of electron. So that is, when say dual nature, electron is treated not only as a particle but as a wave by character. So the wave character of electron has particle significance since its wavelength is easily observed in electromagnetic spectrum. Okay, so next is what is a quantum number? This is describe various properties of an orbital. So think of the quantum numbers as addresses for electrons. So again, your quantum number is like addresses na electron, your specific location ng uh, electron is uh, called is analogous to a quantum number. 
And orbital, again, is a region in space where the probability of finding electrons is greatest and how quantum numbers are used to describe the orbitals. So an orbital uh, can hold two, maximum of two electrons provided that the spin, uh, provided uh, mag opposite yung spin. No? So isang orbital opposite the spin. Okay, kung mag-draw tayo ng orbital as a box, we have the arrow up as electrons and arrow down electrons. Uh, yung arrows indicates the spin of the electrons. So next, what are energy levels? So energy levels, also called electron shell, are fixed dis distances from the nucleus of an atom where an electron may be found. Electrons are tiny, negatively charged particles in an atom that move around the positive nucleus at the center. So they can occupy one energy level or another, but not the space between energy levels. Okay, again. Electrons can occupy one energy level or another, but not the space between energy levels. Now we have here the diagram. So we learned that the central, uh, the atomic structure is like analog, uh, is analogous to a solar system. So kung as, ang center ng solar system is the sun, maraming uh, planets um, orbiting, revolving around uh, the sun. Sa atomic structure naman, sa central part ang nucleus, wherein ang nucleus consists of protons and neutrons. Si neutron walang charge, proton is positively charged. That's why the charge of the nucleus is uh, plus. So, ito yung center ng atom. And then, uh, revolving, orbiting around that nucleus, are the number of electrons. But then, naka-assign ito at every energy level. Okay. Now, hmm. sa first level, we have KLMN. So, dalawa lang ang pwedeng electrons dito sa first level. Ayan. This is first level. 2 and 3 and 4. Fourth level. So, sa second energy level can hold 8, a maximum of 8 electrons. But then, pwede 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay. So, third can hold 18 or less. Maximum itong 18. And fourth can hold 32 maximum. Okay. But then, take note na walang electrons dito in between the energy level. Wala dito. No? So, ibig sabihin na sa orbit ng energy level yung mga electrons naka-situate. Okay. How many electrons can a given energy level hold? Okay. Na answer na yata ito na. The maximum number of electrons possible for the first four energy levels are shown in the figure. First energy level hanggang sa fourth. So, ang K is one, two, three, four. Ito yung number of electrons for K, number of electrons maximum for L, number of electrons maximum for M, and number of electrons maximum for N or sa fourth level. Okay. So the maximum numbers of electrons possible for the first four are shown. So example, in energy level one, it can hold a maximum of two electrons. And energy level two can hold maximum of eight. Maximum number depends on the number of orbitals at a given energy level. And an orbital is a volume of space within an atom where 
an electron is almost likely to be found. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay, so, yan, no? Again, sa nucleus, may different uh, energy levels na nakasituate doon yung uh, electrons. At saka hindi lang din na basta-basta ilagay yung mga electrons sa, sa mga energy levels. May rule yan. Next, we have this energy state of an atom. We have the four quantum numbers. The first is the principal quantum number, capital N, indicates the most probable distance of an electron from the nucleus. This is given in whole numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, with increasing energy, meaning uh, lowest energy yung 1 and highest energy ang 4. So, ang feeling of electron starts at the lowest energy level, papunta sa highest or higher level. So, for principal quantum number, we have N, 1, 2, 3, and 4. At saka may shell name yun na KLMN, or matawag natin ito ng main energy level. Main energy level or shell name, KLMN. Okay, next is a simultal quantum number, L. So this indicates energy subshell and the shape of the orbital the electron occupies. As a can arrange ito in ascending energies, again, increasing energies, as the designation S, P, D, and F. So S is for sharp. Okay, so next is principal. D is diffuse, diffuse, and fundamental. So, yan ang SPDF. Okay, so we have an L, 0, 1, 2, 3. And at saka yung subshell name, RS for 0, P for 1, D for 2, and F for 3. So for the for L equal to zero, we have the S orbital. L equal to zero, we have this L orbital, and we have a spherical form. No? And then sa P orbital, this is like dumbbell. No? So L equal to one. And this is just one of three. Kasi merong three orbitals ang P. Sa, sa S orbital, 1. Sa P, 3. Sa D, 5. Sa F, 7. So when L is equal to 2, ito yung uh, form ng D orbital. But this is just 1 of 5. For L equal to 3, for L is equal to 3, then we have this F orbital 1 of 7. Kasi sa F orbital, merong 7 electrons. Now, uh, focus muna tayo dito sa P. There are 3 P orbitals are aligned along perpendicular axis. So, uh, sabi dito kanina that... Uh, this is just one of three. So, ito yung kompleto. Three P orbitals are aligned along perpendicular axis. So, we have the uh, first P orbital along the X. Next, second orbital along the Y. And the third is along Z. Three P orbitals are aligned along perpendicular axis. Yun ang sa P subshell. Next is the magnetic quantum number M. Small m. This indicates the particular orbital at its or specific orientation in space. So if we have L0, 1, 2, 3 with a uh, uh, subshell name S, P. 
df. The possible values of m for s or l equal to 0 is 0. For l equal to 1, start sa negative 1, 0, then positive 1. At l equal to 2, we have negative 2, negative 1, 0, positive 1, and positive 2. At 3, or at l equal to 3, the values of m is negative, uh, ranges from negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, positive 1, positive 2, positive 3. And take note that the number of orbitals in this subshell, kasi s, 1. Ang p, 3. So saan yan? 1, 2, and 3. Yan. At L equal to 2, we have negative 2, negative 1, 0, plus 1, plus 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And at L equal to 3, for F subshell, we have negative 3, negative 1, negative 2, negative 1, 0, positive 1, positive 2, positive 3. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, there are 7 orbitals in the F subshell. So take note that when, when L is equal to 0, M gives us 0. When L is equal to 1, M gives us negative 2, positive 1. And of course, included yung 0. When L is 2, starts sa negative 2, papunta sa positive 2. When L is 3, M is negative 3, papunta sa positive 3. Okay. So for D orbitals orientation, uh, so for D, ito yung D, meron siyang 5 number of orbitals in D subshell. So ano-ano yan? We have the uh, D, Y, Z, D, Z squared, D, X, Y, D, X squared, Y squared, and D, X, Z. So yan ang five orbitals ng D subshell. Okay, so the fourth quantum number is the spin quantum number, M sub S. This indicates whether the electron is spinning clockwise or counterclockwise. As negative, uh, negative one half to negative uh, to positive one half. Okay, pag clockwise negative one half, counterclockwise positive one half. So there is no no two electrons of an atom have exactly the same energy. So, kung i-draw natin yan, if our, if we write or if we draw an orbital like a box, again, so dalawa lang ang pwede, electron, but then opposite ang spin. So, yung itong arrows na to are uh, number of electrons. And the box is the orbital. So we have rules in uh, of electron distribution. Kasi hindi ilang basta-basta natin i-laglag yung mga electrons at different uh, different energy levels. So meron yung rules paano yung i-distribute. Okay, number one. Only two electrons can occupy a given orbital provided they have opposite spins. So ibig sabihin na walang orbital kung Ang presentation natin ng orbital box, walang orbital na puro up yung arrows. We should have opposite spins. Okay, so up and down yung arrows ng electrons. So indicate uh, opposite spin. Second, because of electrostatic attraction, an electron tends to occupy the lowest levels near the nucleus. So, alam natin na sa nucleus, sa nucleus, andyan yung protons, positively charged. 
That is why, kung merong mga electrons in the neighboring uh, outer part ng nucleus, uh, ang gagawin ni nucleus is to attract electrons. That is why, uh, yung electrons would occupy at the lowest level before sa highest level. So this is our K, L, M, and N. So, mauna muna yung K ma-lagyan ma ng uh, electrons before L or L muna before M M muna before N. Okay. So, electrons tend to be attracted to the protons in the nucleus and of both principle uh, states that lower energy levels are filled before the higher ones. Next. Pairing of electrons do not start until all electrons in the same sub-levels has at least one electron each. Okay, for example, we have 5, uh, 2, P, 5. Okay, so 2, P, 5, ibig sabihin na ang 2 na sa second level, P ang ating sub-shell. Main energy level is 2. Sub-energy level is P or sub-shell P and five number of electrons. Electrons ito. Okay. So, alam natin that there are three orbitals in P sub-shell. So, gawa tayo ng three boxes to represent three orbitals. And then, distribute natin itong five following the rules. We have 1, 2, ma-field mo na lahat. 2 and 3. After that, may pairing na. So, 4 and 5. Okay. Again, pairing of electrons do not start until all electrons in the same sub-levels has at least one electron each. In the SPDF subshell, the electrons do not pair it away. Okay, so one electron is to be distributed each of the orbital of the same sub-level before pairing. And what's of this term? Half-field and fully-field sub-shells. Okay, kung meron tayong 1s2 for, for example, sa helium atom, we have one energy, ay, one orbital, dalawang electron spinning opposite in spinning in opposite direction. So, this is fully filled. Uno. No? But then, kung meron tayong ganito, may isang half filled or one unpaired. One unpaired electron. Itong atom na to. Okay. So, the maximum number of electrons is equal to 2 times n to the second where n is the main energy level. Like for example, paano natin malalaman na uh, ano ang maximum number ng electrons sa m? So this is our third level. So using the formula, we have 2, 3 ang n, then squared. So 3 squared is 9 times 2, the maximum number of electrons in the third level is 18. Okay. What about the fourth level? We have two following the formula. Fourth level is 4. Squared of 4 is 16. 16 times 2 is 32. Okay. So, yan ang sa number, a maximum number of electrons in the main energy level. Okay, next. Number of electrons in the outermost energy level of an atom may never exceed 8. Okay, so to for an atom to be stable, the number of electrons on the outer shell or the outer energy level must be 8 or must not exceed 8. Except helium. Kasi si helium, 2 lang ang, two ang atomic number ng helium, tapos stable ito at 2. The rest, 
would follow octet rule. So meaning the third energy level may have as many as 18 electrons. Pwede maging 18 electrons dito, provided hindi ito ang outermost level. Meron pa dito sa N and so on. Next, we have this electron configuration. This is a notation describes the energy levels, the orbitals, and the number of electrons. So the number and the letter describe the energy level and orbital respectively. And the subscript or superscript, superscript shows how many electrons are in that orbital. Okay, so this is the energy level. Meaning, nasa first energy level and yung orbital S and yung electron 2. Number of electron. Number of electron. E negative. Ito yung energy level. S is the orbital type or subshell. Say subshell. Subshell. Okay. So similarly, we have two. Nasa second level ito. P ang subshell. Number of electrons, five. And then, uh, let us follow the rules of filling orbitals. Na mauna ang uh, lowest level before the highest energy level. So meaning, Mauna ang 1s, ma-field, next ang 2s, next ang 2p, next is 3s, and then 3p, mauna muna si 4s before 3d because 4s has lower energy compared to 3d. Hindi, basta basta sundin itong uh, 3s, 3p, 3d. So mauna muna ang 4s before 3d. Okay, what is the difference between orbital diagram and the electron configuration? So the key difference between orbital diagram and electron configuration is that the orbital diagram shows the electrons in arrows, indicating the spin of electrons, but the electron configuration does not show detail on the spin of electrons. So itong 1s squared, or 1s2 is electron or electronic configuration. So the uh, orbital diagram for this is to draw one orbital for s, s is an orbital, then distribute two, one and two. Again, this is the electron configuration. Ito yung orbital diagram. So, so next example, we have second level P. So, ang orbital diagram nito, gawa kayo ng uh, boxes. Tatlong boxes kasi three orbitals yung nasa P. So, one, following the rules, lagyan muna isa-isa every orbital and then next to that, is the pairing of electron. Hanggang maubos itong 5. Okay, what about if we have uh, say what if meron tayo 3D say 7. So, how many orbitals ba yung D? Five. So, gawa kayo ng five boxes para sa orbital diagram. Three, four, and five. Then, distribute seven. Mapasukan mo na lahat. One, two, three, four, five, then six, and seven. Meaning, merong three unpaired electrons ang 3D7. Unpaired. 
or three half field electrons ng 3D7. I hope you can follow. Okay, next is the outermost level. What is the outermost level? So, electrons in the outermost energy level of an atom have a special significance. These electrons are called valence electrons. Again, electrons in the outermost level is called valence electrons. And they determine many of the properties of an atom. An atom is most stable if its outermost energy level contains as many electrons as it can hold. For example, helium has two electrons. So both in the first energy level. Again, helium, my atomic number na two. So, uh, sa electron configuration, one is to the two. And uh, orbital diagram, okay, meaning stable ang helium atom. Okay, so again, both electrons in the first energy level, situated at the first energy level. So, you know, and this energy level can hold only two electrons, so helium only energy level is full. This makes helium a very stable element because under ito ng inert gases ng group zero or group eight. So in other words, its atoms are unlikely to react with other atoms because it's stable, so less likely or walang compound formation ang helium. So next we have fluorine and lithium. Let us analyze. Fluorine na belong yan sa group 7. So meron siyang Z equal to 9. So, sa electron configuration ng fluorine, start sa uh, first level, 1s2. Next is 2s2. And then 2p. Okay, so distribute natin. 9 minus 2. 9 minus 2 is 7. So, therefore, 7 yung electrons sa second level. But then, uh, properly dis distribute yan to different uh, orbitals. So, 2s2, then 2p, kasi 7, 2p5. So, in uh, determining how many electrons on the outer level, ang outer level natin dito is 2. Second energy level. Yan ang highest outer level. So, let us add 2 and 5. That is why in our that representation of electron, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Now, uh, for an atom to be stable, kailangan nyo ng 8 electrons on the outer level para maging stable. Except helium. Na kasi si helium, stable na siya at z equal to 2. Kasi puno na yung last level niya, first level. For lithium naman, hmm, meron itong isa, no? one electron on the outer level. Because uh, the atomic number of lithium is 3, so madali lang ito, 2 dapat na sa first level. And then, yung 1 na sa second level. Now, kailangan ni fluorine ng isa, kailangan ng ni lithium ng 7 to make uh, to make them stable. So, in this process, both fluorine and lithium are highly reactive. Reactive kasi kulang, no? 
because of their number of valence electrons. Fluorine will readily gain one electron and lithium will just as readily give up one electron to become more stable. So in fact, lithium and fluorine will react together as shown in the figure. When the two elements react, lithium transfers its one extra electron to fluorine. So, ito na yung kanina. Kailangan ni, uh, ni lithium ng 7, si fluorine ng 1. So, sa Li atom, this is like tug of war, wherein si lithium merong isa, isang element. Well, si fluorine naman merong 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. Gusto nila na maging stable. Again, the, the lithium atom, kasi meron itong isang, ato, uh, isang electron on the outer level, at si fluorine naman merong 7, no? kailangan ni lithium na maging kompleto, maging 8, or ma-fully filled yung outer level niya. Si fluorine naman kailangan na uh, makompleto. Kulang ni fluorine isa, kulang ni lithium 7. So, again, this is like a uh, tug of war na kailangan ni lithium ng uh, malakas na uh, force para mahila itong 7 electrons ng fluorine. So, instead of uh, doing that, si lithium na lang yung magdo-donate ng electron doon kay fluorine. To make fluorine stable and uh, lithium also stable. Kasi pag ma-donate na ni lithium, kasi si lithium is a metal, no? Uh, electron donor, kasi itong mga metals. So si lithium, i-donate niya ito. So yung outer configuration niya will be uh, same as helium. So pag same ng helium, fully filled yung first level, then stable si lithium. Si fluorine naman, kompleto ng 8. So after matransfer itong one electron from lithium atom, si lithium maging ion. Sobra na yung uh, number of protons niya. That's why makita natin na Li plus na yan. Well, si fluorine naman, kasi uh, nadagdaga ng electron, sumubra na isang electron, so maging negatively charged. So in compound formation, the formula is LIF. Lithium fluoride. Okay, so next we have a neon atom has 10 electrons. So neon atoms has 10 electrons. Z, or atomic number 10. Or atomic number indicates number of protons. And if an atom is neutral, the number of protons must be equal to number of electrons. So dito tayo magbibase sa atomic number na neon. So, how many electrons does it have uh, in its outermost level? So, start tayo. This is the nucleus. We're in, na, na situate the protons at saka neutrons. And then, sa so first level, our K, dalawang electrons ang pwede dyan, maximum. So, uh, we have 10 minus 2 is 8. So, yung 8 nasa KN. 8 electrons dito. Okay. Sa so electron configuration, 1s2, 2s2, and 2p6. 6. 6 plus 2 plus 2 is 10. So, ang outer level, electrons on the outer level, is to add 2 and 6. Okay. Following the octet rule, stable ang neon. Very stable ang neon atom. Okay. So this is the answer. A neon atom has two electrons in energy level 1. Ito. And this remaining eight electrons in energy level 2, which can hold eight electrons. This means that its outermost energy level is full. Therefore, na yun, atom is very stable. And again, nasa group 
or group 0 ang nayon atom. Less likely would form compound. So checking of understanding, how many electrons, valence electrons does an electrically neutral atom of PB have? First, to answer that is to determine the atomic number of PB. So kunin ninyo ang atomic number sa periodic table or pwede ninyo sa kunin sa, sa Google. No? Okay. So next, 82 ang i-distribute natin at different energy levels. Okay? So following the rule na mauna si 1S, next 2S, then 2P, 3S, 3P, 4S. Okay, you have this answer. So again, 82, 1S2, ayun na. And then next 2S2, next 2S2 is 2P6. 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d10, 4p6, 5s2, 4d10, 5p6, 6s2, and then 4f, 4f14, 5d10, and 6 P2. Okay. So, again, yung valence electrons are electrons on the outer level. So, dito tayo magbe-base. How many electrons ba yung nasa 6S? We have 2. And other uh, 2 sa 6P. So, i-add natin itong 2 at saka 2. Therefore, our answer is 4. Outer level. I, I hope you can follow. Next, the electronic configuration of an atom, an element with atomic number 8 is, so if Z, for atomic number of this certain atom is 8, then ano ang electron configuration? So start from 1s2, 2s2, 2p, 4. Add 4. Plus 2 plus 2 is 8. Okay, saan so dito yan? 1s2, so it is letter B. Okay. The order of filling orbital is, so following the rules, mauna ang 1s. So tingnan natin kung sino nakafollow. Yung merong 1S, nakapalo yan. Ibig sabihin, X na itong D. Hindi na yan pwede i-consider na choices na correct answer. Next is 2S. So, following 2S. Next is 2P. 2P. Okay, nakapalo pa rin. Next is 3S. Nagpalo pa rin yung 3S. And then 3P. Palo pa rin yung 3P. And next to 3P, okay, next to 3P is 4S. 4S. So, isa lang ang merong 4S. Meaning, ito ang tama na sagot. Mas ka merong nakasulat si Isaac. That's it. Okay? So, correct. Ganyan ang pag-order uh, ng feeling of orbital. Okay. So next, higher electronegative, uh, which has higher electro electronegativity, niobium or tin. Okay, you can answer this with the aid of your periodic table kasi nandoon yung, uh, nakasulat doon yung electronegativity. Now, again, kailangan ng table. That's why we have this table. Okay, so yung niobium, may electronegativity value na 1.6. Yung tin naman is 1.96. So it is obvious that tin has higher electronegativity compared to niobium. No? So dapat daladala ninyo per the table yung maraming mga values na kailangan dyan. Okay, so for our summary, 
Schrodinger wave equation, replace Bohr's idea about electron location with an uncertain factor, uncertainty factor. The location of the electron can only be given as probability that the electron is somewhere in a certain area. Energy levels are fixed distances from the nucleus of an atom where electrons may be found. And as you go farther from the nucleus, electrons at higher energy levels have more energy. Electrons are always added to the lowest energy level first until it has a maximum number of electrons possible. And then electrons are added to the next higher level until the level is full and so on. The maximum number of electrons at a given energy level depends on its number of orbitals. There are at most two electrons per orbital. Electrons in the outermost energy level of an atom are called valence electrons. They determine many of the properties of an atom, including how reactive it is. So that's all for today.